Hi everyone, this is Hani from Hanielas and today I'm going to show you how to make Mother's Day cookies. You can also find me on my blog www.hanielas.com or follow me on Facebook, Twitter or Pinterest. And in this video tutorial I will demonstrate how to use a rubber stamp on the frosting sheet. And this is a rubber stamp I'm using and then I have a food pen here. It's a food writer. And then uh, you just need to apply a, an even layer of food ink onto the rubber stamp. I'm calling this dry painting because there is no liquid coming out of the pen, just the ink. Just make sure that you cover the, all, all the areas evenly. And then this is a frosting sheet. I'm using white frosting sheet. You could use different colors. And then just press down firmly. And you need to apply ink on the rubber stamp for each application. You can really double. And then you can cut out these using scissors to fit the size of the cookie that you baked. And uh, here is the cookie that I baked, so it will fit perfectly. And then we can uh, ice it with royal icing. You can find a recipe for royal icing I use by clicking on the link that you see on the screen. And for this application I'm using uh, about 15 second icing. I don't like to use icing that is too watery because then um, I lose all the control over the icing because it just it goes e everywhere and then uh, it tends to overflow if you use thinner icing. And then you can take your frosting sheet that you stamped before and you can place it onto a wet icing and then just uh, gently go over the edges with a needle tool so the icing sheet adheres to um, your royal icing. And then you want to let this dry for several hours and then we can add a decorative border. And to outline the cookie I'm using an outline consistency for this and then you can either uh, sprinkle cookie with sanding sugar or you can dip the whole thing into the sanding sugar. I will show you how to dip it and then just take your cookie and flip it and then place it on top of your sanding sugar and then shake the container and then uh, lift up the cookie and if there is an excess sugar you can remove it by uh, brushing it with a uh, clean painter's brush. And then uh, if you'd like you can add a message you could uh, pipe a name I'm piping mom onto the cookie. This would be really great for a wedding as well. Just add initials of a bride and a groom and they would make for a lovely flavor. And then um, you see the pointy areas there so I'm going to just smooth them out really quickly with a needle tool. You can also use a toothpick if you don't have a needle tool. And then you're done. So uh, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get all the video updates via email. See you next time.